All right, so I'm Mike Nico. Basically, we have a rebuilding channel where we take salvaged vehicles and rebuild it, restore it, drive around and have fun. And so my dad was actually looking for a new truck and he was like, hey, you guys rebuild stuff. Let's go ahead and try to get a semi truck. We don't really do a lot of semi trucks. We're like, okay, it's kind of a bigger project for us, but you know, why not? Let's try it out. Can't be too much different than automotive, you know, regular cars. Unfortunately, we don't know what happened to this one. Sometimes we don't really get the full backstory on the accident themselves. We just knew how to get fixed. Before we even got to the shop, you really have to think about how to transport a vehicle like this. It's honestly super expensive to tow anything this big. So we actually had my dad rent a, basically a hook, you know, kind of thing, a dolly on his semi truck to haul this semi truck. So before you could put actually new parts on it, you do have to remove the old ones. And with that, you just have to, we had to literally use the forklift just to pull it apart to kind of basically get into it. Even to open the doors or stuff like that, because it was smushed pretty good. Yeah, we just pulled it apart and just started dismantling it piece by piece. There's actually a lot of good parts. So the engine transmission was good, the whole frame. I mean, most of the suspension parts, there was like a rim or two here and there, but the hardware, the wire harness behind it, there's still parts inside, the broken parts that you can still use, and all those things add up. But also the inside dash, those parts were not fun. All the connectors were basically the same. If they plug into different plugs with industrial vehicles like that, it's not like a regular car where they won't, you know, connect kind of thing. So you have to make sure you label everything that you don't lose track of it and unplug it, plug it back in the right way. Because if you don't, you're gonna have a lot of issues later. I mean, the first things you do is basically start looking for parts because we need an entire cab. So there's actually a lot of big parts that we needed. No, oh, look, look, I got one. No way. Locally. 2019 Volvo, yeah, yeah. Straight up a cab. That's exactly what we need. Part of the cab wasn't too bad, but we actually got it damaged. We had two wrecked cabs, basically, and we put it together to make one good cab. Body work definitely takes so much time. My brother's like an artist when it comes to that. I do a lot of fiberglass repair. You never really mess with that. It's, it's a dirty job for sure. You know, you definitely have to like get all dressed up, you know, your mask on for sure. Cause not that healthiest for you. So that gets really dirty, I guess, gritty. So that hood itself was fiberglass and a little corner was chipped and all cracks here and there. So we got that, get that fixed. It was really hard to actually work on it because like I said, we're not built for semi trucks kind of thing. So our shop was actually too low. We had to call a buddy of ours to go to his barn basically to get it painted. So we had to haul it over there, you know, like, hey, can we rent it out for a little bit to get it after we did all the body work on it to get it painted. All right guys, so check it out. We got the seats in, we got the mattress in the back, all cleaned up, polished out, brand new. All right guys, so we got all the pieces together and finally let's hit the road, see what this thing could do. And after all that work, all that painting, putting together, reassembling, let's do it. Let's go on the road, go for a drive. I would say probably two, three months, honestly, altogether, since we first got it, brought to the shop, and my dad drove out. He's actually still driving right now to this day, so he's on, it's on the road, it's, you know, he's going back and forth. I would say it's definitely worth it. There's a market out there. Um, Semi-trucks are very hot dollar, you know. Depending on what you pick it up, you can make a good twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 at the end, so, I mean, I, I think there's a high profit range on it. 